The Bombay High Court on December 1 granted default bail to lawyer activist Sudha Bharadwaj in 2018 Bhima Koregaon Elgar Parishad caste violence case. However, the court rejected the bail applications of the eight other accused Sudhir Davle, Varavara Rao, Rona Wilson, Advocate Surender Gatling, Shoma Sen, Mahesh Raut, Varnan Gonsalves, and Arun Ferreira. All of them were arrested between June and August of 2018 in the aftermath of violence that took place on January 1 and 2 in 2018. A division bench of Justices S.S. Shinde and N.J. Jamdar said that Ms. Bharadwaj was entitled to default bail and directed a special national investigation agency court to impose bail conditions on her on December 8. In the bail plea, there are two significant orders that have been discussed. The two orders discussed in the plea had signatures of Mr. Vodane that read Special Judge in one order and Special Unlawful Activities Prevention Act Judge in the other order. Advocate Yuk Chaudhary, representing Ms. Bharadwaj, said that according to Right to Information replies received from the High Court, Mr. Vadane was an additional judge and not a special judge. He added that the UAPA did not have special courts, nor did it have special judges. As for the other eight who are still challenging the orders passed by Mr. Vadane on September 5, 2019, which rejected their default bail pleas, are seeking bail on the grounds that the charge sheet was not filed before Magistrate Court, who could have committed the matter to the Sessions Court. All the arrested have been charged under UAPA Act and are in prison except Father Stan Swami, who died awaiting his bail at the age of 84. Other than Father Stan Swami, Varavara Rao was granted a conditional bail on medical grounds in February 2021 by the Bombay High Court. Rao has been allowed extensions on his bail. However, recently on November 29, the Bombay High Court has directed the NIA to take Rao to Nanabati Hospital for medical examination after Rao's counsel complained that despite the November 18 High Court order, which directed Nanavati Hospital to examine Rao, the respondents had not taken him to the private hospital. The High Court has given Rao until December 6 to return to jail. Another accused, Anand Tel Tumre, was denied an interim bail to visit his mother after his brother Milan Tel Tumre died on December 1. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.